get everyone be aging day here i was very lucky to be invited to attend the ces 2021 this year and i've got to say it was a very interesting to actually see it virtualized and i have to also say thank you to all my supporters for watching my videos and supporting me because without you guys i would not definitely be invited to this to attend it uh, i have to like to make covered two companies which i found very interesting and that is intel and amd so i'm just going to try and summarize on what they actually brought out and so let's start off with team blue intel so they mostly talked about the new 11th gen processor which are 10 nanometers and they actually had four new families that they actually released out. And the first one is 27 processors for business, which most of them will be probably U series processors, as well as six processors for education. Now that is the N series processors, which are the Pentium and the Ceron. Now this is gonna be an interesting category and I hopefully we'll be able to get some later in this year. And then there will also be 12 processors which will be for the high performance now this will be the h series processors and that will be more likely for laptops and also those tiny and micro computers that you will see and then they also have eight processors for the desktops which will be the s series processors as well now they also talked about the Intel vPro, now that was nothing new because vPro has been around for a while and if you don't know what vPro is, that's more for business about for management as well as security for and that's all hardware driven in as well too. Now they also talked about their new Intel Evo platform. Now if you haven't heard about the Intel Evo platform, it's basically a bunch of set of requirements to then be certified with Intel Evo. Now I did cover that in some of my previous videos on, on my laptop reviews, you haven't seen it? I'll link it with the link below. But they also talked about the Intel Evo V Pro as well. So they're bringing the Evo platform with the V Pro. So that'll be for the business. So that's fantastic to see as well. And then they also had a quick demonstration of the next generation of Intel processor, which will more than likely be the 12th generation. And that is the Elder Lake. So they just had a, just a quick demo of that. And that's pretty much all there's that covers for Team Blue. Now let's go turn our attention to Team Red, AMD. And they announced the new 5000 series processors for mobile. So you mostly see these in laptops. Now this will be seven nanometers and this will be a combine of Zen 2 and Zen 3 architecture. Mostly Zen 3 architecture you'll see these in, which is probably going to be confusing a little bit as well too for later on. And this will become in four categories. So you have the U-series processor, which will be for the power savings, so usually around about the 15 TDP. And then you have the HS version, which will be the power saving performance version. And then you have the H-series processor, which will be for the performance series. And then you'll have the HS. X version, which will be the high performance version. So that's going to be very interesting to see, and I'm really keen to get my hands on those as well. AMD also announced their new Gen 3 Epic processors, which are running off their Zen 3 architecture. And if you don't know what the Epic processors are, now these are your crazy workhorses for servers. So you'll see these in data centers as well as these HPC. So these are the crazy, really high performance processes that work for a very long time. Now I'm hoping to get my hands later on the year on one of these. Now both companies did for a bunch of numbers and benchmarks there and pretty much I would just ignore them because I would just wait for us reviewers to actually get these products in and then do your real world benchmarks as well as testers there. Now if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe to my channel because I will be getting a lot of these products in and I will be performing my usual tests there. Now, if you find this video informative or enjoyed it, or even just to support my channel, smack that like button. And if you haven't subscribed again, subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button there. It does support my channel as well. Now, as always, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video.